Bacula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Welcome to the Bacula Systems web series. This video shows how to add a new Microsoft SQL backup job in BWeb and incorporates the client, pool, and storage from previous videos. In order to keep the video length reasonable, I'll be setting up a very simple backup. Additional plugin and job options can be found in the main manual, the plugin documentation found in the customer download area, and built into BWeb. The Bacula System support team is always happy to review configurations before you go into production. From the BWeb landing page, configuration mode is reached by clicking Configure Bacula in the configuration menu. From here, adding a job is most easily done with the Add a new backup wizard. The wizard takes you through each item that must be added to your new backup job. The first window sets up the job's unique name, description, and has the option to import default settings that are shared among similar jobs if you are using job templates. The next step is to choose the client to be backed up. This client was added in a previous video, so it shows in the drop-down list. Otherwise, you have the option to run through the Add Client wizard by clicking Now. The files to be backed up on the system are selected next. In Bacula, this is called the file set. If there's an existing file set for a similar system, you can choose it here. In this case, the file set will be unique, and clicking Now opens a window to create a new one. The file set needs a unique name first. Remember, file sets can be specific to a job or shared among many jobs, so the name should reflect this. Next, we'll add some includes, which is the Bacula term for the files to be backed up. BWeb connects to the client here to display a list of the files available. For this job, we're not actually backing up any flat files, but rather the Microsoft SQL database via a plugin, so clicking Edit Plugins brings up the plugin list. Selecting the VDI plugin from the list brings up the configuration window for the plugin. The most basic setup for this plugin will back up every database on the server and uses Windows authentication based on the user running the file daemon service to connect. That's perfect for this demonstration, so the defaults can be used. Next, every file set has additional configuration options. There's quite a bit that happens here, such as pattern-based file exclusion and handling of sparse files. Please refer to the main manual file set section for more information. I'm going to enable basic MD5 verification of the files written and enable deduplication for the job. Client side deduplication is also available with the both sides option. In the include box, you can see the very simple setup with our signature, dedupe, and plugin line with no arguments. Finally, it's important to disable VSS for this job as it can interfere with the VDI plugin operation. With the file set configured, the next step defines where the job will be stored. In prior videos, we created a new pool and storage for this job, so we select them here. We can also select a different messages recipient in case there's a specific team that we want to notify about the status of this backup job. For the job to run automatically, it must be scheduled. Bacula comes with a default weekly schedule that will be fine for this job, but you can also click now to add a new schedule here. This completes the wizard and brings up the job summary. Here you can make manual changes to the job, and there is far more possible here than we have time for in this video. In many cases, nothing needs to be changed here, and also note that you can template anything that deviates from the defaults to save time. After saving the job, it shows up in the job list. Finally, we can verify that the new job and file set are queued in the work set, and then commit it and reload the director. Since we set the job up to use Windows Authentication and the default Bacula system user, we need to make sure that this user can perform backups. I'm adding the system service role as an admin for the database in the SQL Server Management Studio. Roles can be further refined and restricted using the plugin authentication options. Now, to make sure that everything is set up correctly, I'll run the job manually. The defaults here look correct and will perform a full backup to the correct storage and pool, so I will run the job now. The job takes a few minutes to run successfully, and the log confirms that our sample database is backed up. If this were a production setup, this would also be a good time to run and verify or restore, and document the procedure internally. As you can see, BWeb makes it easy to add a new backup job to your Bacula Enterprise environment.
A free trial of Bacula Enterprise Edition is available from our website, baculasystems.com, and includes guided exercises walking you through different operations within Bacula Enterprise. For more videos, please see and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thank you for watching.